It looks like there will be six more weeks of winter. Buxitani <laughs> Phil, the Pennsylvania groundhog emerged at Gobbler's Knob this morning to see his shadow, of course, and because of coronavirus, only 16 members of the Groundhog Club were present this morning to see Phil make his forecast. The winter prediction might be right. More than 40 million people are under winter weather alerts from Georgia to Maine. Tonight, our Frankie Catafaya speaks with local weather experts about the forecast and whether it falls in line with Phil. Six more weeks of winter. Puxatawney Phil has about a 40% accuracy rate, but Idaho News 6 chief meteorologist says the groundhog may be onto something. And right now, it looks like mid-February we could have our coldest weather of the year so far. And even before that happens, the East Coast is going to get hit really hard with some cold air. And so I think Phil's actually pretty much on track this year. Scott gives us a look at a computer model with two weeks worth of insight and shows us winter weather across the country. Most of tiny Phil may have seen this coming in because I got to tell you, this will be the coldest air of the season they've seen in the Northeast, including Pennsylvania. At the National Weather Service in Boise, they too use a number of instruments and technology to share what to expect in the coming days. And one of those tools that we use is uh, what's called a radio sun, and we send that up on a weather balloon, and that will um, send back information on the temperature, moisture, winds. Um, above uh, Boise. While meteorologists don't use shadows to predict six weeks of weather, they do use their computers. When I started in the business, we were forecasting three days out. Now we can forecast uh, seven days with that same accuracy, even up to 10 to 15, 16 days. We can see pretty good uh, forecasts. So if there's anything to take away from this Groundhog's Day, it's this. If you've had a mild January, a lot of times you get a colder February. So I'm not saying for sure, but it's been pretty mild this January, so I wouldn't write off uh, the winter just yet. Frankie Catafias, Idaho News 6.